On May 1st, 2020, the Catholic bishops consecrated the United States and Canada to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Now, what do I think personally is the most significant aspect of this event? Well, it's interesting because if we think about the Catholic Church from the perspective of an American, we might think first of a great international NGO, an organization committed to questions of economic justice or health care or various forms of political advocacy. But we often forget that at the very heart of the Catholic Church and of what the Catholic Church really is, we find the proclamation of the gospel. We find a faith conviction. We find belief in a God who is radically transcendent of the world and loves it into being and who, in spite of our sinfulness, seeks to become one with us. He enters into our condition, in the person of Jesus Christ, in the miracle of the Incarnation, subjects himself to suffering and death as one of us, as if he deserved the fate that befalls us on account of our fallenness. We forget sometimes that at the very heart of the Christian faith is this belief that God in Jesus Christ inverts the relationship between life and death, where in this world death places a distinct limit on life. In the new creation, life places the limit on death. This is really the heart of the Catholic Church. This is what lies at the root of everything that the Catholic Church is really about. And so, if you were to ask me what do I think is the most significant aspect of this consecration by the Catholic bishops of the United States and Canada to the Blessed Virgin Mary, well, I guess my answer would be simple. It wasn't an act of politics or of economic advocacy or of any sort of this-worldly social justice concern. Instead, it cut to the very heart of what the Church is really about. It was nothing other than an act of faith. <laughs>